Penn State, regardless of whether it's a game, whether it's a, a coaching situation, whatever it is, you get to go back in time and change it. You know, I actually, there's two games that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, one is the Iowa game in 2008. Uh, Penn State was undefeated. They went on the road to an Iowa team. They were favored to beat. And, you know, it, it was, Iowa kept it close. They, they actually scored first. But Penn State at one point seemed to have the game in control. I think they had a nine-point lead going to the fourth quarter and were seemed to be in control of the game. But then uh, Iowa cut it to two, and Penn State threw an interception. Uh, I think Daryl Clark overthrew his guy. And then you know, with, like, two minutes to go, and Iowa – then drove down the field and kicked a game winning field goal of two seconds left. And uh, that, you know, that relegated us to the Rose Bowl instead of the BCS championship game where we probably would have been headed to to take on Tim Tebow's Florida team if we had won that game. I'm not saying we would have beaten Florida to win the BCS title, but I think that might have been a, they might have matched up a little better with, with that team than, say, the USC team that clobber them in the Rose Bowl that year. Uh, the other game that uh, I thought was a tie with the 2008 Iowa game was the uh, 1999 at home against Minnesota. Uh, that was a team that that was a team that had a top defense in the country, uh, led by guys like LeVar Arrington at linebacker, Courtney Brown on the defensive line. I mean, that was just a, one of, probably one of the greatest uh, defenses Penn State's ever assembled. And – they had Minnesota in a fourth and forever situation. They were clinging to a two-point lead. They had him like fourth and forever on their own side of the field. And the Minnesota quarterback, just as he's about to get sacked, uh, lets loose a long bomb to the sideline. And the yeah, Penn State defender seems to knock it down, but there's a Minnesota player just happens to be in the right place, right time, and he catches it, and it sets up an easy field goal to win the game for Minnesota. And that – that um, that tanked any uh, national championship hopes that team may have had, and that Penn State team ended up losing its last two games of the regular season, and for recovering an Alamo Bowl win. But for a team that was aspiring to win a national title, it was really a, a huge uh, deflating of the balloon. And I also have to wonder what would have happened um, if if they had won a national title that if they had gone on to play the Florida State of Virginia Tech uh, and win a national title if. Uh, maybe there could have been a coaching change then. Maybe Joe Paterno does decide to step down then, and you know, to maybe someone on the staff, someone gets the job. And I don't know, things could be a, things could look a lot different for Penn State football going forward if 